So I forget, what was the... Um, it was so it's a block pushing puzzle. You'll notice... Um, so come on. So you'll notice that uh, the stairs leading up, which is actually... This is kind of a branch that goes up mm. rather than down. Um, the branch leading... The, the stairs leading up to the next floor uh, are behind a bunch of traps, which if you look at them, it might tell you already, but they're basically pitfalls. Um that need to be filled in with boulders. Ah, so I need to so, get most a bunch of these boulders, if not all of them. Yeah, um, but you need to be careful because you depend, you know, it's a it's a big puzzle. So depending on how you push, you, you know, you can't push two boulders that are next to each other. You can't push a boulder away from a wall if it's stuck up against the wall. Mm -hmm. um, so you got to be careful about how you move them around. So there are twelve boulders and ten holes to fill mm -hmm. man i feel like to solve this properly it would require expending way <laughs> way more mental energy than i want to expend right now at 10 10 30 on a 10 o'clock on a friday night um you might just want to see you know without thinking about it insanely hard like writing it out on paper you might just want to see how far you can get because actually sokoban has very good items as you go mm. um it's it's actually a very common like first destination in that hack to try to get to, uh, simply because you can find good items. Sometimes they're both behind the boulders and things like that. So maybe, maybe just do your best. Yeah, you can't do that in in Sogoban. Oh, you can't. Period. No, you can't uh, move diagonally uh, in that way. The Sogoban has some special rules so that you can't cheat. Basically. Interesting. Hmm. I want to push this over, but then I'm going to, oh wait, no, I won't, I won't totally block that one. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Is that an enemy? That's no, a body. It's Some kind of food. Mainly what you'll find. Oh, wait. Oh, looks like there's heck. food back there. Well, that's inconvenient. Maybe wait for a few turns and see if it moves. Now go. All right, it moved out of the way. I think it was your cat. Ah. Getting in the way. Um, so yeah, uh, mainly what you're going to find in Sokoban is food, uh, wands, and rings. An engagement ring. There you go. Um, all very good items. So uh, this is especially useful. One of the main reasons that you would try to come here first is simply because there's typically lots of food. Um, and so, oh, donuts. <laughs> That's my favorite me. food. Go man, I love it. It's probably not really, but uh, that was what I typed into my options file. Yeah, which you knew, but uh, for for all the the listeners back home, donuts. You you usually leave yours blank. You said that's your fruit. Yeah, I usually just leave it a slime mold. It's so boring. I I found some pretty offensive ones <laughs> in the dungeons of doom before. Oh yeah, like what? Uh, yeah, you, don't have to see. Uh, <laughs> so you, no. you can imagine. Yeah, I'm surprised I'm yours wasn't uh, wasn't pocky or something. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what some of the best ones that I found are. I was I was I was we really enjoyed the uh, Grande Mocha Latte one for Jennifer. <laughs> Boulder falls in a pit. Oh yeah, I I spy a wand. Is that the other end of the pit there? Yeah. Sometimes there are items uh, inside of the pit, and you can just jump down in there and get it before you actually push it. Uh, so you might want to move. wait for your cat to move out of there. Yeah, there you go. So you don't block him in. Drop him into a pit. That could be bad. Oh, shit. Yeah, so like I said, that's fine. Um, that's actually what I would have done, too. You pick up the okay. wand, and then you can crawl out of there. So just walking get you out? Yeah, eventually. Okay. Um, so interestingly, you'll notice that on this first level, uh, it's possible to just move through pits. You take a little bit of damage when you fall in one. You're going to have mm -hmm. to do it again to get out of here, actually. Yeah. Um, you take a little bit of damage when you fall in, um, but it's not that bad. So, you know, on this very first level, if you were to have, like, you screwed up and you were, like, one or two short, you could mm -hmm. still actually get to the exit. 
um, just by walking through those pits. But the levels above this will actually drop you down into the lower level, so you mm. can't do that um, on the, the levels that precede this. And I took six damage, which yeah, it doesn't do too much, time, which isn't a lot. But also, I started with like seventeen health. Yeah. So if I came here first and you know had not even leveled up yet, or had leveled up like once, yeah, that would be that would be pretty rough. Uh, another reason why this dungeon or why this branch of the dungeon is good to come to early is because you exercise strength by pushing boulders around. And mm -hmm. so, I mean, your class is already very strong, but like if you're a weaker class, you can actually gain a, you know, end up gaining a couple of points of strength just by solving these. Oh, crap. Let's see. Okay. Why does it keep saying with great effort? Come on. I'm a barbarian. It's heavy, man. I should be like, uh, oh, rock piercer. Hello. I should feel like I should be like Chris in Resident Evil, just <laughs> punching, punching Fal boulders. Falcon punch on these Falcon things. punch. It's my favorite part of that whole game. <laughs> Come on, Jeremy. Just keep getting in the way, man. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Rock mole. Sometimes what sometimes what I'll do, uh, if I get particularly annoyed with my pet getting in the way, is I'll just leave him on the previous floor mm. while I solve the puzzle. Um, as long as I'm pretty sure he has a decent amount of tameness. If you wait, he should come out of there eventually. There you go. Yes. Naga. What is that? There are a lot of enemies in this little. Yeah, area. they spawn in. Ah, come on, Raven. running away now dang it he, he pecked at your eyes ravens are dicks wow a lot of stuff is spawning in here man somebody hit me with a carafe Call made you dizzy wait why am I calling a potion it, it gives you the opportunity to kind of name it something on the fly because you observed something happening when it hit you. Ah. It made you dizzy. So, you know, if you know what that is, like you could, you could even just name it like dizzy. Dizzy potion something. or something. Yeah. yeah. So if you oh, found it again, you would know like, oh, this is something that made me dizzy before. Gotcha. Probably should have done that. It's all right. Thank oh, God. Oh, come on, Jeremy. Oh, oh, son of a bitch. I think you still have enough, though. A pony? Can I train the pony? Can, but it, it will only eat fruit. Mm, that makes... I don't know if you have any fruit. I guess that makes pony sense. I wouldn't mind having a warrior pony that ate meat, though. You can actually... There is mounted combat in this game. You can ride a horse. You can ride certain enemies. That's crazy. Great stuff. Wait, aren't there boulders right there? <laughs> uh, why don't you take a look at what those are? What the hell? What what just happened? Am I drunk? You might be hallucinating <laughs> from eating the yellow mold. I, I'm pretty Look at what sure. your pet is. And you might be careful because you might hit your pet if you try to walk into it. A sea cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> you should take a look at some of the things that your pet is. So, does, it, um, does it change like every time? Yeah. Now it's a were jackal. 
Jesus. This is a perfect example of uh, how insanely, like, overblown the jokes and just d- general development of this game is. So there's this status, hallucination, is just like, you know, it's just this random status where you hallucinate and things become things. So you know how there's like these messages that are prevalent in the entire game of like you observing something, right? Yeah. Well, for every single message in the entire game, there is a separate message for what you observe if you're hallucinating when you happen to observe that thing. Jesus. For every message. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I hope this wears off. It should eventually. <laughs> You can still push the boulders around while you're hallucinating, even Are you though sure? they're boulders. Yeah, you just be okay. careful not to run into your pet because you'll probably yeah. That's what I'm worried about. But uh, you can see it. I mean, as long as you know he's around, you can you'll notice where he where he's at. Yeah, I just don't want to move too quickly. But you can totally do Sokoban on acid. <laughs> you can push your sea cucumber around. Um, so one of the things that used to be really popular in NetHack that has been, is actually one of the changes that they made in 3.6 was to nerf this, was there was a particular enemy that you could, um, with an insane amount of setup, you could basically farm it infinitely. Uh, and it's, it's not really easy to do by any means. Um, but basically it allowed you to you could basically break the game because you could just farm it forever and you know get drops and get everything in the entire game basically. Um, and what it is is it's like a black pudding that divides when you has a chance to divide into two when you hit it. Um, and so you can basically like clear out an entire level and like fill up the entire level with black puddings by dividing them and killing yeah. them. And then get- and. Uh, and so food off that or leveling up? You, you can just, yeah, you level up. You can get items from it as they drop randomly and everything. Um, but anyway, when you're doing that, the entire screen, like literally your entire screen is just filled with these black puddings. And if you happen to hallucinate while you're doing that, it's the most insane looking thing. <laughs> I, I must have like a screenshot somewhere that I just can show you. A massive like, like patchwork of different <laughs> symbols. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. A man and bear pig. Holy crap. Hold on. Is that is that a South Park reference or was South Park a reference to this <laughs> or something predating I both? I don't know. I don't know. Is that a D was that like a D joke from the eighties or something? Maybe. I mean there I, are the owl bears from I D. Defi- I definitely thought Man Bear Pig was a South Park invention <laughs> until hey, it might be a three point six thing, I don't know. Until right now. Uh oh. Did I just kill my cat? You might have. Fuck. I thought it was the one one further down. You smite you smote the sergeant. Oh no. No, I didn't want to smite the sergeant. Oh, that's wait, are you am I sure? Oh, maybe not? not. Maybe it was legitimately an enemy. Dude, you've been hallucinating for a long There's time. A griffin here. You're tripping balls right now. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm gonna quaff something. Maybe it'll fix it. I'm going swirly. <laughs> now I'm invisible. <laughs> that didn't help. And it gives you a far out man because of course you're hallucinating. <laughs> well, I think the cat's still alive. So that's something at least. Yeah, man, bear, pig might be might have been added in three point six. We're gonna have to consult the the <laughs> wiki. I'm getting the munchies. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> have you ever hallucinated for this long? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're not invisible anymore, but you're still hallucinating. Still high as fuck, dude. You shouldn't you shouldn't have eaten that yellow mold, man. Don't eat the yellow mold. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh no. Okay, you're still losing me. I thought I thought it was done for a second. Nope. Yeah. Do not eat the yellow mold. If 
fuck it. I'm just going. Crawl to the edge. Come here, cat. Yeah, I don't think your cat will go past the uh, trap there. Oh. You can leave him here for a little bit, though. Might be best while you're hallucinating. Yeah, that's a good point. <coughs> Honestly, I don't think I can handle yeah. the pu the puzzle here with I mean even if everything is just a boulder, it's I can't parse it. It's too You could you could just kind of like nestle into the corner and and wait. Um you might want to eat a, a food ration so you don't starve because you're already hungry. Maybe it'll clear out my system. <laughs> wow, like superior man. <laughs> So you might just want to try to wait it out here. And uh, if anything attacks you, at least you know it's not your pet. There you go. Ooh. Wait, so all that other stuff is... Uh, no, it's just because that's your last recollection of it. You haven't seen ah, it yet. Right. And I was crazy out of my mind. So this could go on for a while, huh? Um, there are a total of four levels of Sokoban if you make that far, but it's actually fairly difficult if you don't really think about it. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, the, it's it's tough to get past the levels, past the first one, if you're not really committed to committed and paying attention. Um, so you might want to just, it's up to you, I mean, you, but you might want to just like try to see what items you can get out of here and then... Yeah, maybe I'll I'll try this floor and then yeah I'll yeah. Out. Let's see. I guess some of these things are items, and I don't know because I was tripping balls. Those are all boulders. Okay. I would say that book, that thing that appears like a book, is probably a boulder too. Yeah. All boulders. These are just all traps. Wow. Yeah, and so if you fall in the trap in this one, it's not like the floor before where it's just a pit. It will actually, you'll drop down into the level below. So that means there aren't any items in. They're they're probably in those under, pits. They're probably either underneath the boulders or in the big room. There's definitely items in here. These levels are always generated with items, but. Now, if they were in the big room, when I when they have shown up on the map. No, not necessarily. Not until you got in there. Only the boulders. Oh, because I, I didn't come. I was, I was thinking I came from there, but I, that's where I came from. The, no, yeah. The other stairs. Got it. So basically, I have to make it all the way to, to get anything out of this room. Yeah. So at the end of Sokoban, um, it's one of the few, the few places in the game where there is a, basically a guaranteed, item that you get. Uh, typically, everything in the game is fairly random. Um, but there's, well, I, I haven't played, I haven't, I don't think I've beaten Sokoban in 3.6 yet. Uh, so maybe they've added more, but generally there's two items, uh, one of two items you get by beating Sokoban and they're both very, very good. Hmm. So it may, it may have changed a bit in, in this Yeah, I, I don't foresee that they changed that aspect of it, but it's possible. So I killed an acid blob here, and I feel like I don't want to step on that. Uh, stepping on it might be okay. Oh, it was a gem. I guess he turned it into a gem. That's cool. I'm okay with that. What's an M? A mummy. I can kill a mummy. Probably. What do mummy wrappings uh, do for you? Well, it's like a... Ah, oh, shit. Why'd I do that? It's an equipment that you can wear. Uh, I just fucked myself. It's a rough one. I hit the wrong key. Uh, that's... Yeah, that's... Totally... I don't see you recovering from that. Yep. I think that's button. all for your first, uh... first Sokoban, but that's not bad. <laughs> you might want to just press... It. Since you can't beat it, you might want to just push these blocks out of the way and see if there's anything underneath them. Mm. Yeah. 
one misclick in this game is really dangerous. yeah there you go you got some rations that's nice Yeah, Sokoban is very touchy, um, especially since enemies can spawn and things like that and really throw you off. Um, one of the worst things that can happen is an enemy spawn, like you're, you know, th there's these corridors with traps in them, and when you enter the corridor with your, with your pushing your boulder, there's no enemy, but then by the time you get to the trap, an enemy spawns between you and the trap, and there's nowhere for it to go. It just sits there. Mm. <laughs> you can you can kill it. I mean, you can like throw things past the boulder at it and things like that. But it, it's just really annoying. And obviously, your pet can. Yeah, that's why sometimes it's best to just leave your pet and deal with the puzzle. But no, wait. That's a staircase up. I don't want to yeah. go up. I want to go down. There is a uh, shopkeeper on this floor, I think. I might be able to search and find an extra spot there. Search for 10 turns or so. There you go. There we go. Yeah, so earlier you, um, when we started, you mentioned some people had, like, a, a, I guess the equivalent of a speedrunner for NetHack had finished the game in, like, 2,000 turns. Yeah, there's, um, there's the, people do speedruns in NetHack and, both the traditional speedrun sense of trying to beat it in as quickly of you know as fast real time as possible, but the more common one is uh, number of turns, and yeah, the the fastest is two thousand something turns, so less than you even have now to yeah, beat. Yeah, that's the that's why I brought game. it up because I have now almost thirty two hundred turns. Yeah, it's it's pretty insane. And as far as I can tell, I'm not close to beating NetHack just yet. <laughs> Not quite. My I uh, a normal so just to give you some kind of indication, um, I think a fairly normal amount of time to spend on a single playthrough, um, like a single character, if you make it all the way through the end of the game, going at a normal pace, mm -hmm. is a roughly twenty four hours. Actually, whoa, twenty four so, hours. Um, you can do it much faster. I mean, I've I've. I've rushed without doing any special strategies or anything like that, just kind of like rushing along um, and not stopping to do a whole lot of stuff and done it fairly easily in around 10 hours. Um, but yeah, I think a normal playthrough where you're really preparing and setting up is a good 24 hours or so. That is, so it's a, it's a sizable game. Yeah, that's for some reason, even knowing the, difficulty and complexity of the game that's way longer than i expected yeah i guess just oh shit um that was dumb i have a tendency to walk on a trap and then be like oh what was that and then go back <laughs> you get better about that ah, oh donut. shit dude yeah hmm that was a yummy donut yes you're rocking was. the donuts today uh-oh uh oh well, you fell down two levels but you're on the you found you're you're right at the upstairs to go back up one level if you want. Kind of want to get Jeremy. Um, I guess my my perception of the game is even knowing it's very different than you know a modern roguelike like a Binding of Isaac. Mm -hmm. The the standard design for modern roguelikes is to be difficult, but the actual length of the game is very short and compressed. Yeah. You I know, think Sp the Spelunky is a game that you, when you beat it on a good run, you know, it probably takes you an hour. Yeah. And you may spend 30 hours trying to beat it before you do, but that one run that works, you know, it's pretty short. Yeah, no, NetHack is really long. I think the closest comparison I can think of, or the closest, like, modern-ish game, um, graphically, like, graphical game, uh, that kind of has a net hack thing going is um, Diablo, which is mm -hmm. one of the one of the reasons I really loved that game when it came out, um, and I still I, Diablo one and two are some of my favorite games. Um, I mean, obviously they're way simpler uh, in terms of the actual mechanics than NetHack is, but 
from a desi design perspective, it's it's quite similar. They're so sort this of. Is, this is my first interaction with a, a human or elf. Is this just an enemy? Uh, yeah. Because I'm an orc. Yes. It would say so if you look at um, if you do your far look command real quick and look at it. Mm -hmm. It will say if it's peaceful. Um, okay, so I did run into the. Um, it wasn't an orc, but it was a. Uh, some some other life form earlier and it yeah. did say peaceful and it was kind of just chilling out yeah and then my pets attacked it and killed it yep that that happens your pets don't care if it's peaceful or not <laughs> which is which can be a blessing and a curse normally it's good because you know it doesn't hurt to kill that thing and get whatever drop it's going to drop i got his helm nice now if he was wearing it probably not cursed right not necessarily. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not cursed. That's that's unfair. I feel like people shouldn't be wearing around cursed stuff. That's that's dumb. It could happen. Don't be wearing cursed armor. He's just a regular elf. He wasn't like a cursed elf. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So no. yeah, you unfortunately have not found an altar yet. So it's, hard for you to, stuff. it's hard for you to, well, it's not identification, but at least curse testing your stuff. Um, there are other ways to do so, but I kind of wanted to see if you would happen across a natural occurrence of that before I just told you. Um, so we'll see what happens. So I ran into the altar in, did I find him in both games? I think I did. I think My only first... the second game. Was or maybe only... not. I'm not sure. Maybe. I think you actually found two, but you found both of them in your second game. Okay, that's what it was. So this is my other up, right? Yeah, that should be back to the level where your cat was. Oh, Jeremy. Do you find that confusing? No. <laughs> you got it straight. You have a, you have a very uh, specific way. You have a, a very specific cat talk voice. It's a little different than the usual like ba baby noises that people made. Oh, there's an orcish helm here. That's more up my alley. It will probably fit my head better than the <laughs> the other one. Hmm, I wonder where he went. Is there a possibility of him falling in that same trap after? Mm -hmm. Not after. after. Not after, because nothing really happens on levels that you're not on when you're not on them. At the same time, potentially, but I didn't, I didn't notice it that he was actually yeah, next to you, So I don't think he did. Whoa, what happened there? Uh, did I smite him? He oh. read a scroll named Mapiro Mahama Diramat and disappeared. Which I also have. And you also have it. So did he teleport or did he go invisible? He's not attacking me. It's a good so he question. Was... He's not attacking you. You might want to wait until you see him again. If you see him again on this level, he teleported. And then in that case, you might want to name, you can name your scroll teleport because now you know what it is. It's a very good way to like figure out what these things are. I could name it like teleport question mark. Yeah, sure. I think it's, oh, it's, yeah, it's probably what it see. is. Otherwise he would have been attacking you still so. yeah oh oh it actually it actually auto identified i just saw oh. it in your inventory as soon as you saw that it identified for you yeah it totally did all right that's nice cool whoa there he is again there he is Ouch. Actually, that didn't hurt me at all. And now he's dead. Now I'm going to eat him. So those darts are actually not bad to have. It's a, it's a ranged weapon. You can toss around just to... Mm. I could have doesn't... picked up like eight. There's nine. Okay, it's a bunch of darts. You can quiver them so it's easy with fire. Capital Q. Capital Q. Oops. Can you throw gold? You can, yeah. You can throw anything. <laughs> Let's 
that's not too surprising, I guess. Hmm. Maybe he did fall in the trap. Um, there's still, you still really have, an, uh, it looks like there might be something to the bottom. Like in the bottom section of the map somewhere. Maybe the other tunnel there. Searching paid off. But yeah, I'm not seeing him. Nice. Satiated. Well, there is a little pathway here. But yeah. Hmm. Wonder where he is. It's possible he fell with you and then just didn't fall to the same floor. Hmm. He could have he could have fall fallen to the next floor or even a floor lower than where you were at. So you might, nope. might just want to continue. He definitely didn't yeah. go up, so I mean it's not like he's been saving my ass, but <laughs> Rather not leave him behind. Maybe we'll be reunited. I want to keep your uh, your eye out for seeing a message that says like you hear noises or something because that's probably scuffling with your pet. Oh, it wouldn't be an enemy. Um, you only hear noises if well. That message is is basically for something fighting. Whoa. That was a spear. Missed you. I wasn't used to the... I uh, wasn't expecting the animation there. Yeah. And you're dead. He's got another helm. He's got a shield. Should I take a shield? It looks like you actually might be two-handing your weapon oh, now. Probably because it's I'm not, max. I'm not sure. Can you check actually? Oh, I shouldn't eat that. I'm satiated. Um, it hands. looks like weapon in hands. Um, yeah. yeah. So you so might I could, be. I could switch to the sword and the shield, but I'm kicking so much ass with this axe. Yeah, I think the axe is good. Can, you want to check your attributes actually with pound and hands? And see what your axe is at. Your axe skill. Oh, it looks like you can actually upgrade it. See, you have an option there. We didn't notice them. We must have missed the message, but um, you can upgrade your axe skill and make it even stronger. It's really good. So what? Um, so you have an you have an option there. A will upgrade your axe. See that? At, at some point, doing just like uh, using that skill, you'll yeah, get a message exactly. that's so like, you, "Oh, you've been working out really hard," or something like that. It, it'll it'll say like you feel more confident in your weapon skills or something like that with axe, and you can go enhance it. So if you look in your enhance now, you'll you'll see you're like a different um, proficiency level. You're skilled now. Skilled. But that's the only thing I'm skilled at. It is. Yeah. I don't think any. I don't think you you to generally start out as basic skill with things. Um, I don't think any class starts out more than basic with anything. Might be wrong about that, but I guess it's the it was the only thing that I was really even close to. I haven't done anything else that I'll be able to level yeah. up. Door opens. If he did fall down with me, and he's just like right here. Rope golem. Is he made of rope? He's made of rope. Really? I guess that makes sense for a golem. It's a weird thing for a golem to be made out of, but <laughs> usually you think rock or... Some gold. Is that the rope golem? This guy moving here. Oh, it's a unicorn. It's a pony. Or pony. Are unicorns like... There's a joke in in something that unicorns are like extremely violent. <laughs> oh, Maybe yeah. I think that was... Uh, House in the... Cabin in the Woods. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They're pretty violent in this game. <laughs> oh, I want to eat the pony corpse, but I'm still satiated. I'll throw up. Unicorns are a very very important enemy, though. Um, oh, yeah? Kind of like a landmark enemy that you definitely want to encounter um, for various reasons. A sign of progress? 
Yeah, and also just kind of like there are sort of like landmark things that ooh, you're taking a lot of damage. Just want to kill the spider. You might actually want to walk. Holy crap. You might want to walk one space to the right because that way only one enemy can attack you at a time. Yeah. I think I might die here. Cuz that horse that horse is hitting me. Hard. You have any any uh food you can like any fruit? Wait, you I can, can teleport. Finish? Oh, I you can know what teleport. you could do is I think your donut counts as a fruit. You might be able to tame that horse with a donut. Ooh, okay. Should I do that instead of teleporting out of here? Uh, up to you. Uh, either is uh, you might actually want to do the teleport because I'm not a hundred percent sure that the donut will count as a fruit. I think it does, but to be safe, teleport might be a good op option. Yeah. Whew. Good thinking. Uh oh. Okay, well, I got a lot of potions. Um, but the, got, was, the, was the spider doing much damage to you before, or was it just the pony? You know, or I'm was it just the horse? I'm not sure which one it was. I think it was more the horse. Yeah, so you might be okay with the spider. Um, what you could do is try, uh, try backing off and throwing darts at it as it's coming toward you to do a little bit of damage before it gets to you. I think you already have it quivered, right? So you can just oh, yeah. press F for fire. Oh, there nice. you go. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, you probably want to keep your eye out for that horse. If you see it, maybe if it's at a distance, you can try to throw the donut um, to see if it will work. Oh, shit, here it comes. So, yeah, you might want to try to line up with it. Oh, God. Oh, the golem is in the way. Uh, oh, where did he come from? He's in the way. That Shh. damn golem. Maybe Shh. try moving. Do you have any other escape items or anything? I mean, I got a lot of potions, and I have a bunch of scrolls. None of them are teleport scrolls. Hmm. I don't I really cream, know what those are. I have a cream pie. Could I, <laughs> can I blind uh, the golem with a cream pie? <laughs> You thing? might be able to. <laughs> Let's try it. That that seems completely plausible to me. Uh, you'd have to use. Oh um, yeah, it's uh, asterisk, right? Yeah. J. <laughs> Please, yes. <laughs> oh shit, he's right here. You want to okay. try the donut thing? I don't think you've got much else going for you here. Ah, damn it! Wrong one. Please. Nice. Yes. The horse likes donuts just as much as you do. And I now have you have a horse. I'm going to just retreat from the golem. You genuinely threw the cream pie in the rope <laughs> golem's face. You didn't know that was going to work, did you? I actually did. Simply uh, because. Uh, you, played it, you played the, it so well. The pacifist game is. Uh, highly dependent on using cream pie as your main weapon because it's very easy to accidentally hit something. And if you're wearing a, if you have a cream pie in your hand, it won't do any damage to them. It'll just splash in their face. And d did it blind it? I mean, it didn't tell me it blinded it, but so the, the command uh, pound wipe to wipe your face off ah. is specifically for like cream wiping pie. cream off of your face or something. <laughs> I'm I'm starting to really get the the in joke element of the game that you definitely were, were describing. Like that is that is a joke <laughs> that 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 can be a legit strategy, and that there isn't a command to deal with it. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you should eat this. Uh... There's lots of stuff like that. There's like a ooh, someone's beseeching Mitra. There's, um, for example, uh, you know, one of the character classes that you can choose is Tourist, which is a reference to Discworld. 
not it, not the, like T O U R I. Yeah, or... tourist. I've actually never read uh, any Discworld stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I hear, anyway, I hear great you things. are you are legitimately a tourist. You saw the Hawaiian shirt in that one game. Yep. Yeah, the tourist starts with a Hawaiian shirt on, and he starts with a credit card item, and like the credit card can be used as basically a makeshift key because you can credit card a door open <laughs> example things like that um so i just got the message you hear some noises is that my pet yep that's the message that happens when your pet is scuffling with another enemy oh oh wait that's the horse i was yeah. thinking it was the cat for a minute well a chugging sound what's this m m oh it's a mummy okay an orc mummy though it's one of your family members, man. I don't want to fight him. Whoa. I need to get out of here. Shit. Mm, should I wait for so, him to... So, so you can see how um, you're, you're getting into these situations now. This is what I was talking about where like the game basically almost turns into like a chess game. He just He just hit me for some damage, so I'm ducking out of there. At least so I can heal yeah, up. It might some. be it might be worth trying to trying to heal up a little bit. So yeah, I mean I, I have I have a good bit of food. Some of it might be cursed, but I won't need to eat that for a while. I have a lot of scrolls. And I also have uh quite a few potions here. And I have some um armor that I could put on that could help me a good bit. You also have a wand you never tested. Yeah. Um, you could see what happens if you zap that thing. Uh, how do I do that? Z is for zap. Z is zap. Nothing. Nothing obvious. Yeah. So last time I had a wand that didn't do. Oh crap! Didn't do anything obvious. It was turning me invisible. I feel like if I just wait around here, I'm going to keep getting enemies coming at me. You could close the door at least, which might help a little bit. But yeah, there's a lot of entrances to this room. Um, you can close the door with C, though. Like, Okay, that's cool. Uh, if I were you, I would wait on the staircase. Hmm. Just so if you absolutely need to escape, you can. That's smart. Um, but yeah, just waiting around isn't necessarily a bad idea because you have plenty of food. I can get enough. If I can get it you know, up to 50, I can probably safely go up and get my horse. And oh. yeah. I'm at 30 now. Is this a rat? It's uh Yeah, you did. Looks like your dart made it too. You can grab that thing again. Got it. Sometimes you're a little crappy throwing weapons like that, like darts and throwing knives will break when you throw them. I really wish I knew what those potions I have are mm -hmm. and I, if I knew if that armor was cursed or not that would be really nice to know are the are the armor classes oh, you said it goes negative didn't you yeah it does uh, generally if you a, a normal armor class to have when you're when you actually beat the game would be like Anywhere from like negative 15 to negative 20. Okay, that's pretty significant. Does it scale? Um... Wow, he just hit me for 20. Holy crap. <laughs> He's a king. He didn't, he didn't become a king for nothing, man. You might want to see if you can uh, back around your horse and let him take the brunt of his attacks or something. I mean, you fed him that donut he owes you. 
It's true. Unfortunately, this is this is a case where a door cannot really get in your way. Uh, you can't actually move diagonally into a door frame. Mm. You have to move straight in, which sucks because it would be a faster way to get out of here. But it looks like you're going to be okay. Should so I keep yeah. running, you think? I might duck out of there and try to close that door and let them fight it out. He picked up some gold. I can't close it while I'm on it, right? And you no, can down but you can wall. exit and close it and wait for the uh, sounds to stop. A dwarf king can't open. Yeah, he can open a door. Look at that. Okay, he might. Oh boy. Definitely move with diagonals when you, whenever you oh, can. Crap. To get away more quickly. Oh, he hit, he hit. He got to attack twice in a row. Oh yeah, he might have. He might just be faster than you. Oh, he killed me. You son Damn. of a bitch. He was a king for for a reason. I killed a, a gnome king earlier. He was no big deal. <laughs> Man. Wow. Oh, I should have used some potions or something. Yeah, good game, though. <sighs> Made it quite far. You saw Sokoban for the first time. So let's see what you had here. Unfortunately, I'm not sure those... Well, the Confused Monster Scroll might have helped uh, in that particular situation. The helm and the cloak would have been great. Oh, that. you had a blessed orcish elm and Damn. a plus two. Wow, you found a lot of plus the chain, items. The, the chainmail was great. That was why I lived as long as I did. Yeah, dude, those uh, those other plus armors would have been amazing. Yeah, that would have put um, me at like negative two, something like that. Less, yeah. Oh, we didn't see the rest of your items. Oh, That's oops. okay. I was curious what uh what questions you had or what potions you had there. Yeah, I hit down to scroll and that didn't work, and then I hit. Enter I think it's it space just... generally to go to the next uh, screen. Okay. I killed a bunch of stuff though. Yeah, man, that was good. That was a very good game. Let's see my conduct. Yeah, didn't really do. The... Wait, I did change form. Come on. <laughs> uh, I think it means you never. I'm surprised that doesn't count as changing form, but you never changed into another being. You were still a human. Oh, so I did. That was definitely a, um, a what do you call it? A bone. Oh, it was a bones level. Yeah. Bones level. Yeah. You didn't find his body for some reason. Mm -mm. You know, I found an empty chest there. Mm. But. So was that the guy's name? Yep. Oh, I see. So the first, his name was Rotten Peach, and then he was a priest, elf, female, something? Chaotic. Okay. A chaotic, yeah, female, priest, elf. Sokoban. Good stuff, man. That was a killed, good game. Killed by a dwarf king. You're, you're doing, uh, you're making progress uh, quickly. I mean, not quite as cool as being killed by four red dragons, but <laughs> I, I definitely earned that death more than I did the, the red dragon death. That was just freak. I feel like accident. you're really I feel like you're really getting the hang of it and you're learning a lot with each new game. Yeah, that was that one went on way longer than I expected. Yeah, that's the important thing is like every time you die you want to at least have some idea of why you die. But yeah, Barbarian is one of the stronger, um, like more recommended classes, um, but still probably not the strongest. Um so what so, should I play? What should I play next round? You think? Uh, whatever you want, man. If you, whenever <laughs> you feel like you're ready to, like, if you really want to kind of stick to a class and have that be like you really want to make more progress, mm -hmm. uh, I can kind of let you know like what I think is sort of the ideal setup. Um, right. Well, for starting I, early on, so maybe next time I'll try a, a priest or something. Yeah. that has has a little more intelligence or the, magic skill. I yeah, that would be fun to try all. out something that has magic. Um, the priest is cool because. Uh, you don't know this yet because you haven't actually met uh, a priest. Well, but I guess you have already run into some altars. And so one of the kind of holy things is that, right, like if you drop things on an altar, they're automatically uh, known, like you know whether they're blessed, cursed, or uh, un uncursed. Um, priests know that intrinsically. So if you play a priest, you always know 
if something is cursed, blessed, or Ooh. otherwise. So that's one really cool benefit of playing a priest. And that would definitely encourage me to use items more. Yeah, and it's yeah. a good it's a good class to play a little bit with early on, just so you can kind of see easily see like what frequency the game likes to give you certain things just to get a feel for like even when you're not playing a class that has it just to know like well this is kind of the rate at which i normally get you know cursed items or blessed right. items like one out of three feels yeah like it yeah, tends yeah. to be cursed or something like that yeah sure although that game seemed like a bit of a an outlier with the getting two blessed pieces of armor well especially just plus like you had plus two a plus two and a plus one that is actually quite rare that was really good if only i would uh, taken advantage of it it's hard to know though i mean yeah you don't want to you know you don't want to just throw on something um but so that's a good problem to have uh so those are the kind of things you want to keep your eye out for like i constantly find myself dying because you know i die and then i see that i had all this awesome shit and like i just had no idea that i had it because there are a lot more ways that you just don't know of yet to, to be able to, stuff. you could have, you could have known those things already. Um, especially identification is tough. I mean, some of that is, there's lots of ways to kind of do that too. And you were already doing some of them, but especially curse testing, um, is actually, there's a, there's a fairly easy way to do it, uh, early on, um, that I, you know, I'm hoping that you run into a situation where it kind of happens naturally, but if it doesn't happen Pretty soon, I'll just tell you what it is so that you can kind of know that. Because um, that's a frustrating problem to have, but it's totally fixable. And a lot of the things in the game are like that, right? Where like you get frustrated because you're like, uh, I just keep dying because of this one thing. But then you realize like, oh, there's actually a way around that. Um, and that's like basically NetHack in a nutshell. All right. Well, that was another session of NetHack. Uh, so I'm going to end it there. And then we'll have, uh, we'll have some adventures in Priestum next time. Cool. Sounds good.